Right, hole five. Oh, shit, no. I forgot to put the replay on. Uh, showing two shots again. First one, extra mile and a zerk. Uh, elevation 10% max. One back, two right. And judge where, push up and see where the ball guide's going to go. You want it about there. Then adjust. And you want about 90% OP, 80 to 90% OP. And right curl. You'll see the curl in a minute. That's so much right curl. And then about 80, 90% OP. Perfect shot! Another drive in a minute. And the second shot, I just uh, played rapier 70% slider, 70% uh, elevation, and whatever distance of the club I was in. You had to do it quickly, but I went with 62%, I think. It's glitchy, so be careful. I mean, I'll show you the next shot, uh, next one I played as well, where it explains better with the second shot. So I mean about being so glitchy. Pop five plus, and I used a, a win three ball here, and with three side spin, so I used all three side spin. So basically, one back, max right, judge where the ball guide's going to go, where you want to go. Just 10% max. Same amount of curl as before, like the EM. But with the APOC having more distance, uh, it's, it's about, I don't know, 50, 60% OP. I mean, by pushing up, you'll see how much OP you need. So, I mean, not as much as the extra mile. Perfect shot! This time, knowing about the glitchiness on the on the green. Basically, what it did was add two backspin. That way, it kind of like gets rid of the glitchiness. First, judge where distance with the club is, and it's seventy-five percent slider. And 70% uh, elevation, two backspin. That way it gets rid of the glitchiness, in a way. See what I mean? And aim it just slightly to the right of the hole. Not right of the hole, but right side of the hole. Big shot! 